everybody, welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Let there be carnage! Oh. This is the last, this might be the last time I make fun of this title because <laughs> the movie's out. And so time will tell if it was a good idea to let there be carnage. <laughs> See, I don't think, I don't think we're ever gonna not Stop make fun of Stop saying it. I mean, no, you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun words. of that forever. I don't care whether the movie's amazing or terrible. It makes no difference. No. The title will always be stupid. For all time, that title will be stupid. Here's another title they could have used for that movie. It's called Absolute Carnage. This is a yeah. massive event for Spider-Man, Venom, Marvel, Carnage, <laughs> written by Donny Cates with art by Ryan Stegman. This this is a, recent, right? It is recent. This it's is like, only a couple years old. Yeah, okay. he's got the little uh, got the spiral, oh, the spiral thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The new status quo for symbiotes is that they're... <laughs> no, it's the, just... The, the spiral thing is part the, of it or whatever. The spiral thing is the mark of null <laughs> yeah. or the indication thereof. Yeah, yeah, they're all from null. Well, that's true. They are. Yeah. 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 Absolute Carnage, of course, comes out of the Donny Cates and, for the most part, Ryan Stegman Venom run. We did the first volume, mm -hmm. Venom Rex which retcons everything and tells you everything you knew about symbiotes is right out, uh, and wrong. Well, like a good retcon does. Exactly. Wow. Or, oh, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Yeah, no, no, it but happened. this what, too. But also this. Other things. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and for the most part, everybody just, just bought it. Yeah, it's yes. like, whatever. Because yeah. Venom's been kind of dragged in the mud and it's funny because leading up to Absolute Carnage, it's like, yeah, right, another, it's, it's been, what? 25 years since we had the last major Carnage event. And no, I'm not talking about Carnage USA or Minimum Carnage or any of the other wait, little- Wait, wait, there was a Minimum Carnage? Yeah, there's like little Carnages and they're yeah. small. They barely <laughs> showed up. <laughs> no, it's not, yeah, it's not metaphorical where there's just, it's, it's about Carnage, but no, Carnage doesn't show up in the book. And so it's Minimum Carnage. Yeah, they're all worried about no, it's, it's literally Minimum Carnage, little Carnages. But physically, physically it, tiny minimum carnages. size. It doesn't matter, but they did a bunch of random Carnage stuff over the years, and by the time we get to Absolute, it's like, okay, a good, pure, unadulterated <laughs> Carnage event, but Carnage has gone through some changes over the years. <laughs> like, for example, uh, when Bendis took over for New Avengers, he had the century rip Carnage in half unceremoniously in space, yeah. because he was such a piece of shit character and nobody cared about him at that point. Mm -hmm. right. and, and the Sentry was so powerful. Yeah, and, the, and we wanted to kind of like elevate the Sentry's character and popularity. So uh, so we made him do something really brutal and like horrifying. Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. And so uh, that happened to Carnage and that was like one of the first major deaths of Cletus Cassidy slash Carnage. Um, <laughs> one of the first? Yes, he would die at least two other times after that. Uh, and the Carnage symbiote would of course be transferred or destroyed or metamorphosed. And so, by the time we get to Absolute Carnage, it, it takes a lot of gymnastics, mm. narratively speaking, to get us to Cletus Cassidy Carnage, but we get there. Okay. And like the Venom retcon, most folk are like, fuck it. I just want Carnage back. Right. And if you give me the idea, because Carnage, the idea here, originally, all the way at the beginning, Cletus Cassidy is a serial killer. He believes in nothing except Carnage, death, mayhem, destruction, that life is meaningless. Yeah. Then he gets the symbiote, which didn't believe in anything because it was just a blank slate. You know, Venom says we, but Carnage never says we, he always says I. Mm. And he did that. Eddie said we as like respect. You know, because right. he well, knows it's he's another like, thing. It's another he living another creature. Thing. And yeah. it also provides like a little bit of safety. Right. We did that. <laughs> yeah. I, I am not solely responsible for I this. didn't kill everybody. <laughs> We, we have decided that this scroll should be eaten. Well, that's that's Matt Gargan, the scorpion. He's already committed enough oh, sin. Oh, I didn't even know that And he doesn't that even was care not. about the Wii stuff. I mean, eventually he would, but like he would lose the Venom symbiote, of course, mm. because Venom's own symbiote would transfer to multiple hosts, including a character that doesn't matter, named Lee Price, who is meaningless. He, ah. was just, he was a new potential host for Venom when they didn't know what the hell to do with Venom. He actually is one of the few humans who's like mentally, his, his own mental abuse that he suffered and physical abuse, but mental abuse uh, allowed him to transmit that level of abuse to the symbiote. So when the symbiote's like, okay, man, you're on, like, I'm on you, we're doing this. And then he's like, no. Oh, and Venom's like, oh. Y yes. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit like when Jafar gets the G. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, and like, Genie tries the Robin Williams shtick and yeah. Jafar's having none of it, puts yeah, his foot like, right nah. on his face, that's the end of that. Like, you stop this. You stop this right I'm now. I'm in charge. 
Uh, there are a few uh, provisos, uh, limitations. Yeah, grab, <laughs> no. Are you doing a bit right now? I'm trying to take over Agrabah. What, 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 are you, what are you even doing? Wait, are you, is for? that an impression? An impression of what? I don't understand. <laughs> that stuff doesn't past. exist yet. I have you, no idea who you're You have ultimate power. I'm not, I'm not here to be amused. Right. Are you trying to amuse? And no one's watching. It's just me and the bird. <laughs> I got enough lift from him. Yeah. And he thinks, he. you know what? There's no competition, all right? I got you and the bird mugging for attention. Forget it. I wish you'd shut up. That's number one. Anyway, Lee Price is just this idea. Ah, oh, new Venom. He's, he's oh, he's a bigger jerk. And then they went, ah, fuck him. And then they got rid of him. And he gets another symbiote and then it doesn't matter. But oh, my God. He shows up. How many fucking symbiotes are there? Oh, God. There's so many, man. There's so many. And that's what this is about. Oh. Absolute carnage. You know, you'd think, because Maximum Carnage was just a fun idea where it's like, you know, if a serial killer had untold power from the stars right. and just didn't care, yeah. he'd kill thousands. He's in New York, yeah. and they just kind of follow it to its sort of logical conclusion while also, you know, adding a cast of thousands for no good reason. <laughs> but... Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, like, wouldn't you want to know, like, what if Superman was, like, a monster? Oh, my God. Imagine the damage he could do. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have seen the answer to that question a thousandfold, and I am bored to death of it. What a I, basic <laughs> thesis. Yeah, but at the time of Maximum Carnage, yes. that hadn't been uh, Yeah, but he wasn't yet. Superman. It's no, more no, like no. But just like, he had a lot of power. He had a lot of power. What yeah. if someone with a, a with, superhero with power, level power yeah. Yeah, well, was the every worst? Every supervillain at this point is just like, I want to accomplish a goal. Yes. I want yeah. to take over. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want money, power, yeah. fame. I'll kill people, but like, killing great. people is not the point. And Carnage does it? He just yeah. likes his killing people. His goal is killing. He I just gets like off killing. on murdering. Yeah. And that's kind of it. And it's like, let's see that. Let's see how far we can push that in an all ages yeah. Spider Man that is, comic book. That is horrific. It is. And it is. Don't do that. Well, they did. And it was 14 <laughs> parts, and it's yeah. obscene. But I, you know what? I kind of like it because it's also interesting because it's written by people who actually want to say something with yeah, that or no. maybe are forced to say something because they have to write those books <laughs> and they're just like, what am I going to do with this? Like, I feel so bad for Demetrius who is just like always just along for the ride. He's like, I want to talk about you know, introspection and mythology and... You know, okay, well, we've got this Carnage character <laughs> and he needs to just kill a lot of people. Oh, okay. And so he, you'll notice <laughs> what his chapters are when, like, the narrative shifts to the overall impact of a mass murdering psycho band of supervillains attacking New York indiscriminately and how that would affect like people <laughs> you know like two former Soviet prisoners aka Peter's parents who maybe have a chip on their shoulder and they're seeing like the horrors of current society uh -huh. and how, how how that makes them feel and I'm like what? <laughs> And as a kid, you're, you're, just, you're just reading it like, yeah. right, this is okay, all... Okay, yeah, this is, this is logical. This is normal. This yeah. makes sense. When are we going to get to see Carnage again? <laughs> I mean, you know what, though? There's 14 parts. You get to see Carnage. He's in every single issue. So let, let it not be said there was not maximum Carnage. Absolute Carnage. The idea here is, of course, that, like... Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that Cletus Cassidy slash Carnage is back. However and, you want to put it. Yeah. yeah and somehow. He, and he found a connection to Null, because originally, Cleus Cassidy Carnage believed in nothing except killing people. Then he finds out there's this god that existed before everything, mm. and it makes symbiotes, and all it wants to do is bring everything back to entropy and mass extinction. It's like, that's exactly what I'm about. Like, yeah. actually, you, uh, you are my belief. Carnage yeah. is like a true disciple of no. Right. So when he oh, finds Oh, I've been out, doing your bidding the whole time. Exactly. That has to really fuck with the mind. Was yeah. Like, was, was, was I this always meant to be? Oh. Was I always following yeah. you before am I, I like, got the symbiote? Am I like the Jesus right. for Null? And, and I, I would love to see that, and I'm sorry to say, it's not really mm. explored, Yeah. but that's mostly because Carnage is a corpse inside of a symbiote. So like, <laughs> he doesn't get a chance to like eat toast and think about his <laughs> role in the universe. He's uh. mostly just interested in waking up Null, which of course was a problem and that they didn't want to deal with because uh, at the end of Venom Rex, you know, they defeat the dragon, the, yeah. the, the yeah. Grendel. Yeah. Well, a piece of it survived and they use that to reform the Carnage symbiote. So Carnage is in essence the Grendel dragon of Null. Oh. So he's like a disciple and like a literal... Like even closer than he was of. before. Yes, yeah. and he's more strong. 
you know, because the Grendel symbiote is way more powerful than Carnage. Can I ask a technical question? Knock yourself out. What physically happened to Cletus Cassidy's like <laughs> physical body when he was ripped in half? When he ripped, yeah, when it ripped in half, yeah, his his torso was severed from his <laughs> lower half, and then. Uh, but what was established, of course, in in previous stories, but more more, more concretely by Cates and and Stegman, is that the symbiotes can reform you and fix right, you. Right, they can heal you. Yes. Yeah. But he was dead for a long time. You know, right. like he was dead, and then later reformed. So, is there a body now? There is a body, okay. but it's a dead body. It's but a, it's a so dead if the alive symbiote body? left it, it would just like collapse. Yeah, and it does. But like oh, sometimes okay. you see it and. Remember, because the symbiote and Cletus are kind of one thing. Right. His the, brain's like in there. Like his mind is there. His mind is more like within the suit, which is of course yeah. like a two-dimensional being. So, <laughs> you know, like it, the, yeah. you see Cletus Where is the around, suit's brain? Right. It doesn't really, it doesn't really have, have one. one. Yeah. But like you'll see Cletus walking around and it's more just the carnage symbiote looking like Cletus than it is actually Cletus. But you'll see his body uh, sometimes. Yeah, because it can look like anything. It can look like so anything. So it's just like, oh, well, I guess I'll look like Cletus. Right. Right. And... Because well, I remember it's not, it's not being we, it's I. Right. Yeah. And you'll see that is what I look like. And you'll sometimes. see when the suit comes off of him, and it's just it's just a corpse. That's kind of cool. Which is pretty cool. And well, why do you even need the corpse though? Right. Like, uh, does the suit need like a substrate upon which to attach it itself? Does. In fact, there is another symbiote, like another child of Venom, post Life Foundation, who is named Sleeper, who uses a Kree corpse to transport back to Earth. Mm. So this is Yeah, part, and they do establish the in that Venom book we did where the yeah, that, the, that, the that, skeletons that, fell out of... Exactly. Yeah, yeah the old uh, war buddies yeah. Yeah. of Rex. So it's like, no, no, we do have a reason to like use these bodies even after they're dead. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's sort of like... Uh, it, like a framework. Yeah. 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 Like without this, I'll just be this weird goopy thing. Exactly. With this, I have sort of like an idea of what I'm supposed exactly. to do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, okay. look at when Spider Man first got the suit. Yeah. It was just goop. It was, it was just goop yeah. slash. It could kind of crawl around. It could crawl but around, it, but that's all it could do. Of course, then you see like when Flash Thompson gets the Venom suit and it like makes legs and musculature. So, yeah. you know, it well, could I need, approximate I need a human a being. Portion of a human yeah. at least to start from. <laughs> I think it just like thinks about it. It's just like, well, I mean, you have this mental image projection of right. yourself with legs. Yeah. Put so legs here on. you go. That, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Like well, I think, like I think Ben's on the right platform. Well, track. like Cletus at, at Carnage. Yeah. Like has all these projections of like all these extra limbs and sharp things. Yeah, I have like axes and like, shit that comes out of that's me. True. I Clearly, I can do that. To be on a spider to have eight legs. No, I just make. Things. I can just make things. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it takes extra like energy and effort for it to produce legs for somebody? I think it does. Like every time uh, Carnage makes like an axe, it's yes. like I can't just make a thousand axes. No. Like every time I make an axe, like it's a little bit hard for me. Mm. So like I I do it every now and then. If I had to make like axes all the time, and I was just like that's why I don't walk around with like axes coming out of my body all the time. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's like, like just a pin cushion. There is some cost. So when Flash Thompson had to have those legs all the time, like that costs something. Right. Yeah, that's I. I I'm, I'm sure I, that's not a thing. I would but like, say that is a thing, but it's not as heavily explored. Yeah. I mean, does was Flash Thompson also using like guns and things? Oh yeah. I, that's an excellent explanation. Oh, to be like, yeah. look, your symbiote is not at full strength because it's giving you legs. Right. So you have to compensate by using <laughs> other weapons. I think it's also because Flash Thompson is trained with weapons and like right, he has familiarity that, with he has them. He's familiarity. It's not like he's gonna immediately go to web slinging and and face suffocation within his own suit. Because those are the two attacks that Venom had. He had webs <laughs> and he suffocated you with his symbiote. Like, that's it. Really? And strength. Like, well, but he ate people too, right? Later. Much oh, later. Okay. No, he would always Not threaten... according to the toy. <laughs> yes. The talking toy <laughs> from Toy Biz would No, it was all, it was all, it was all talking to symbiote. Yeah, it was it all was, the threat. He didn't yeah, actually. Yeah, it was all an empty threat. I will eat your brains? Sure. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. Of course, he would eventually eat brains. Yeah, it's like being in the car and being like, I'm going to kick your ass! Yeah. I'm never going to follow that person. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Hold me back. <laughs> Inevitably, okay. he would, and Matt Gargan, of course, who was the Scorpion, who was a psychopath, would get the Venom symbiote thanks to Norman Osborn, who was in yeah. charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. slash Hammer. He fulfilled the promise of eating brains. Well, he, well here's the, the whole thing. Generally. Eddie Venom did eat brains, but only oh. that one time. <laughs> and then... <laughs> it's... If you eat brains one time, are you really a brain eater? I say you yes, know? because like there are some lines you don't cross. And when you cross them, that's what you're known for. You know, like when you fuck one sheep. <laughs> you can build up thousand barns and they don't call you Johnny the Barn Builder, do they? Eddie Brock. Why'd you point that at me? So Eddie Brock is given this monologue 
about how uh, Cletus Cassidy's back and he's more powerful than ever, and we got to call everybody. We got to call the the Marines, the FBI, the re- like the Power Rangers, everybody we can. Just like <laughs> he was back before this book started. Yeah, like it, it, oh, it had okay. been. Oh, there's 25 times okay. to the story. Oh, but <laughs> okay, this is just the main story. But this is the main story, okay. and. You know, I, I read them all, so if you ask any questions, I will remember. You will what know the answer. Happened. Okay. Yeah. Refresh me. Is this Eddie Brock Venom? This okay. So Eddie and the suit are kind of on a break right now. <laughs> oh. Are they, are they symbioting with other people? <laughs> Eddie is uh, just trying to find people who will lay on top of him for a while. <laughs> Eddie <laughs> is angry with the suit because the suit withheld or actually altered memories in Brock's mind right. to allow them to just keep being Venom and allow for retcons to happen. Yeah, that crossed a line. For example, like Dylan, his son. You know, like mm. He doesn't remember having a son because the suit didn't want him to remember yeah. having a son. It's really Dylan, convenient for me. I sacrifice you to know! <laughs> he loves his son. <laughs> uh, the idea of Dylan, really quick backstory, is that uh, there had been a bride of Venom, uh, Annie Weying, who had... <laughs> Uh, originally been married to Brock, but got divorced before all the Venom stuff. He was already an asshole. Anne got pregnant. Brock left. Anne had the kid, dumped him on Brock's dad, and then killed herself. Oh. And that actually happened in an old Howard Mackie Spider-Man comic where uh, Brock just, like, is... Like, I have a wife. I, I should just get back together with her. So he tries, and, like, coincidentally... Peter Parker has to wear the black suit because he has no other costumes left. And so he swings by her room or apartment by accident. And she sees that and thinks, oh my God, the suit's back. And because she had also gotten the symbiote herself. Oh, okay. And uh, oh, she became weird. She-Venom for a, like a, for long enough to get an action figure. And, uh, so like an issue. Yes. And, it's a, it, and the cover of that issue is her being, is yep. Venom with boobs. And... Uh, <laughs> So, and very creative, hot. she venom. Yes, yeah. they, they all do that. No. But uh, anyway, so she, you know, she she becomes agoraphobic because of her relationship with Eddie and the like, and the association with the symbiote. And so when Brock comes back, it brings up all of her old trauma, and she basically just jumps out the window and kills herself. And uh, Yeesh. Venom, and Spider-Man did that. Yeah, he lost so another one. Peter. So she kills herself with the outdoors. That's right. So she was right to be afraid of them. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. The other thing about that, and the reason why they even do it in the first place, is because they want to rekindle the Venom Spider-Man animosity. Right. He blames Spider-Man for something that Spider-Man had nothing to do with. Remember the good old days yeah. when Venom blamed Venom Spider-Man absolved, for everything? responsibility for no uh, reason. All right. But that was 25 years ago. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Okay. The point is, Anne and Eddie had a kid. She dumped him on the kid's grandfather, and then she killed herself, and then... The, the father... Who takes these backseats. Exactly. And so Eddie's dad, who hated Eddie, Eddie's father is a piece of shit too. Yeah, and Grandpa Brock. Grandpa Brock, because Grandpa Brock took a lot of shit out on Eddie, which made Eddie into a damaged person because his wife died in childbirth, giving... Oh, so he blamed Eddie. Exactly. You killed your mother. You and, killed my and wife. And that's where he gets the consistency of like, you blame other people for your own fucking... You killed kid. me, Ma Brock. Yeah, so... Grandpa Brock raises Dylan under the assumption that Eddie is his older brother. Doesn't even want him to think about Eddie uh, being his father. Okay. So when Eddie gets Dylan and Grandpa Brock is shuffled loose of this book, uh, <laughs> they are brothers. And then, of course, the suit's like, mm, You're not, though. No. Okay. I know the truth. Jeez. Here you go. Okay. And he's like, what? And he won't, what? And he won't tell Dylan the truth. Because he's too afraid. He doesn't yes. want to step up. Yeah. Oh, understandable. nice lesson you're learning. You didn't tell me the truth. You held this for me. Well, don't worry. I'll so- hold the truth for Oh, we're all just victims of our own mm. cycles. But mm. this is also a great opportunity for Donny Cates to tell a story about fathers and sons, which is what he does. Uh, so uh, that, that's a little backstory in Dylan. Can you hand me that box of tissues? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to be quite as sad as Field of Dreams. So anyway, Eddie has this whole thing where he just launches into, we got to call the Avengers and the Fantastic Four and everybody in Spider-Man. we got to deal with this, this carnage problem. Right. Call uh, everybody. And then he gets arrested and sent to Rikers Island because he has no symbiote. It's just him. Right. And gotcha. they blamed the symbiote on his crazy, so you can go into general populace. You can go into regular prison. Okay. So Oh, so he's not, he's not insane. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Eddie is in prison, and he bumps into Lee Price. Oh, okay. That's yeah. why you mentioned 
why I brought him up in the first place. Yeah, it's like, okay. who the hell is Lee Price? Well, yeah. don't worry, he won't be relevant in the next two pages. Oh. Lee Price has, you know, he was Venom. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> he got another symbiote. He has a piece of it. And mm. he's walking around calling himself Venom. That's like his nickname in the yard. Oh. And he goes up to Brock and he's like, I don't want to hear any bullshit about Venom because I'm Venom. I'm Venom. And then Brock laughs at him. His eyes get all null spirally. So he plunges his fist into Price's chest and pulls the symbiote out from him, killing Lee Price and adding that symbiote to himself, revealing that this is not Eddie Brock. The confessional all the way up to the pr imprisonment is actually Carnage impersonating Brock uh. and making everyone think that Eddie Brock is public enemy number one. Okay. okay. So I mean, that is a twist. Yep. What does he need with a piece of a symbiote from Lee Price? What indeed? Well, yeah, why is he gathering symbiotes? They're setting this up. And Carnage has done this before in a book called Planet of the Symbiotes where he like absorbs symbiotes. It's like, I that's need not what more we're doing. symbiotes. It's, that's, that's, we did that already. Now okay. we're doing a different thing because Carnage's motivations are different. His motivation now is he's found religion. Yay! Uh, and he needs to call, but he wants God here, like yeah, now. Yeah, it's time to bring everyone into the fold. Well, and we had like a cult of carnage and the, that whole thing. We yeah. did, I remember that. That yeah. was cool. We yeah. did that already. Now he's like, no, no, no. God's got to come here, like right now, and then we'll 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 mess up everything. Right. Uh, it is still the case that Eddie and the suit are split, though. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Eddie's not in the book yet. Just carnage has made everyone think that Eddie is. Like a murderer or more of a murderer, right. and that he's at large. Man, I love just... they did fingerprints, and they're just like, Done these course. aren't these aren't anything. <laughs> <laughs> these aren't even these human. Are oh, what the hell am I looking at? Man, poor Eddie. He just can't catch a break. <laughs> he's going on the straight and narrow, and there, someone's going to impersonate him, killing people. He does actually get a job in the Venom book that ties in with Absolute Carnage. Like Dylan's like, I'm hungry, <laughs> and so Eddie goes to the Daily Globe. And he, he, like an intern that was friends with Brock is now like in charge. And the dude's like, you're Eddie friggin' Brock, you're a serial killer in Venom. I'm not gonna give you a job, but I will like help you out. Like you can do odd jobs. You work at a news publication place. Right. That is the perfect time to hire a, like a crazy person. <laughs> right? He's a celebrity. Yeah, he should have a column in the Daily Globe <laughs> called Eddie's Clubhouse, which is the name of the letters page in the Venom book. And he could talk all about Venom. Yeah. How it was, what it was like eating brains, all that stuff. He could give advice. Yeah. Like, do you want advice from a symbiote? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Dear Abby. Yeah, Dear Symbiote. This dear, would be dear fantastic. Eddie. Dear Eddie. There we go. Oh, this guy totally missed on that. I know, yeah. Well, Fire that man. And every answer is just like, well, when I was the symbiote. Oh, God. <laughs> That's like do you have his... any stories that don't involve you being the symbiote? I do, but nobody wants to no. read those. Right. Why do you think I got this column? Yeah, none that matter. Yeah. <laughs> I tried doing that <laughs> once. They scrubbed the column. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, honey, nobody wants to read about you. They want to hear about Venom. They want to hear about Venom's exploits and how it relates to their life. We broke up. We're not together anymore. <laughs> well, you better figure that shit out. <laughs> you were nothing before that suit. <laughs> nothing, you hear me? Yeah. Remember, Carnage and Null, there used to be a, a tether between them. It was severed. Carnage is trying to reestablish the connection so that he can wake up Null. Null is trapped on the planet of the symbiotes where it is basically just a rock that is enveloped in symbiotes that right. are there selflessly keeping, keeping Null in. in a suspended animation state. Right. So what they've established is that uh, it's an old back issues tradition. With every symbiote you've ever heard of, some piece of it has <laughs> imprinted onto them. Okay. And left... Yes. It left a piece of itself? Left a codex on their DNA in their spines. A what? A codex. That's what yeah. they're calling it. What does that mean? Right. That it means mean, it's It uh... means a small piece of the symbiote imprinted itself onto the DNA of its original host. Cool. And Thanks, so, Superman, so that there Man can of Steel. always be <laughs> yes. something for introducing that into the friggin' Never does. zeitgeist. That's right, that's right. But that's also a great backdoor way of like bringing Flash Thompson back to life because like there's a whole little like backup drive. <laughs> okay. And 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 so and it's not a clone. It's not a clone. No, yeah. uh, no, that's a codex. I'm totally but different. Carnage wants these codices because he believes that if he gets all the codices <laughs> that are throughout Earth. Uh -huh. He can unlock 100% in the Venom game. <laughs> yes. And he can reestablish the connection with Null. That's it. I mean, like, yeah. So he's got it. So he's collecting. So the idea is we got to visit all these different people and characters who have had the symbiote before. Or okay. any symbiote before. What if they're dead? What if they're dead? 
Great question. Well, mm. the codex is still there. So Carnage digs up their bodies and takes their spines. Ooh. And in fact, there was a whole wait, town. Wait, wait. He has to like drink their spinal fluid? Kind of like. I mean, there is no spinal fluid. It's, no, it's, it's dry. No. Well, <laughs> we don't see the process. Okay. Unlike Bloodlines, <laughs> where we have to watch every excruciatingly like horrible detail of that process. Yeah. This, this, this is just, he, he gets them. Yeah, he just well, needs their. I just need their spine. Well, he like puts it next to him, and then the suit just takes it. You know, nah, like okay. that's not. And you don't see what happens when it goes inside the suit. No, nah, we don't need that. <laughs> and I, it's, I, I'm, it's I, the most painful spinal tap you've ever. That's heard. right. Yeah. Well, because usually it kills them, unless they're corpses, in which case they're already dead. All right. But uh, yes, in fact, Carnage took over an entire town in a previous arc, and uh, so like there are a lot of dead people in that town, and he dug them all up and like put basically Carnage collected all the dead people all the characters who had been symbiotes or had any symbiote yeah. who had been killed. Yeah, Carnage went and dug them up and then like arranged them in the town he took over in a previous story. And so when it was reported on, because it would be when like people <laughs> yeah. drove by, yeah. uh, it was it would get the attention of Eddie who would see that and know that that was Carnage sending a message being like, right. none of you are safe, even the dead. Right. Which includes Anne Weying because Anne had... A codex too. Yeah, but she's dead. Yeah, but so were all these other people. They, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's not oh, that she's not safe anymore. No, no, but yeah. it's like it's, it's yeah, but don't sad. violate her body. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, Batman has that problem all the time. Whenever anybody threatens to dig so up, so what parents. if you cremate somebody? Well, then that's a good question. Well, fire. So I guess it would just be destroyed. So, so the codex is gone. Yeah, I would take that. And I'm sure that someone in the comments is like, mm, one of the characters was... I don't care. So, <laughs> in previous events, more recently, in fact, a lot of superheroes also got symbiotes, like. Wolverine and Captain America. Oh, like, yeah. The thing and stuff. So Carnage has to get all those codices. Yes. From characters that we know and love. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. so that's why he ripped the, it out of Lee Price. Yes, that's why he even went to the prison in the first place. Got right. it. Frame Eddie and also collect the Lee Price codex. So Eddie and Dylan are walking around. They see in the middle of Times Square, you know, a wanted ad for Eddie Brock. So mm. he's screwed. And so uh, they are harangued by a beshrouded character who we, who's, whose face we don't see. Uh, Eddie. I'm sorry, Eddie. Just shave off your beard. Look at that picture. I know. Shave off your beard. Shave off the beard. No, because I'm Donny Cates and all my protagonists have big beards and their fathers. So <laughs> Eddie and Dylan make their way into the subway and this is a fun homage and there's a lot of those in this. Never learned a thing from the fugitive. No. No, that's right. So uh, while they are there, Carnage is waiting for them and he pushes both Eddie and Dylan onto the subway track. Oh, no. This is a reference to the first appearance of Eddie Brock slash Venom because when Eddie Brock was established, he was a retcon. He was retconned in during the Sin Eater arc as a struggling reporter who is given a bad tip about who the identity of the Sin Eater truly is mm -hmm. and he is fired in disgrace for it. Later you'll see in like a Web of Spider-Man comic Peter Parker's waiting for the subway and somebody pushes him into the subway train and his spider sense did not go off. This was a indicator that it was Eddie. Uh, and that he had the symbiote because the symbiote does not trigger a spider sense. Right. right. So we're doing a little bit of an homage. Okay. Uh, when Eddie lands, uh, he is uh, seconds away from death, he and Dylan. Yeah. But uh, we discover that the person that was following them was actually the Venom symbiote <laughs> wearing a coat and hat and they derail the train. It looks all gangly, just like, Ooh. Yeah, it's fun. It's What's fun. with that spaghetti man walking around? <laughs> I like it, it looks cool. But uh, yeah, so if the symbiote derails the train, saves Dylan and Eddie. And, and kills like everyone on the subway. kills like 300 people. Yeah. I love it because he's, yeah, and then jumps on Eddie and we're like, we're good. And then like the cops show up and like, it's fine. And, and like, Dylan's just screaming his head off. <laughs> Dylan is surprisingly cool with most of these things, but <laughs> the cops show up and they're like, Eddie Brock, you're under arrest. He's like, no, we're cool. They're like, tell that to the train you just derailed, you asshole. Yeah. Just jump out of the way. <laughs> there was no time. Yeah. No, I had to save this boy. <laughs> You couldn't jump with the boy? Yeah. No, there was no time. He's a little chunky. I got there the last possible time. <laughs> gotta second. exercise, Dylan. Eat right. <laughs> yeah, eat brains. So, you know, the suit is uh, on Eddie. They're Venom again. The suit's like, Eddie, you're not, like, letting me, you know, put my dick in you. Like, it's not, like, we're not connecting. And he's like, yeah, man, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't mind, like, being Venom, but, like, you can't attach yourself to me yet. I'm like, I'm still upset. And he's like, no, dude, 
I understand that. But like, Carnage is coming, and there's some crazy shit. Yeah, and we gotta be to completely be integrated. Yeah, we gotta be Venom. Come yeah. on, come on, we man. can't just, be Venom just, and Eddie. Let's be Venom. You gotta come let on. me yeah. finish. Just, just come on. So then Carnage <laughs> shows up, and he blows up the train anyway, and he's like, ah, yeah. he looks ah, crazy. Carnage. Yeah, Carnage was just there. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Like exactly. he pushed him on the trains. Right. All the cops are. I'm amazed Carnage just didn't be like, run the fuck out. Right. Well, no, because he has nothing to fear. Right. So they fight. Uh, and Carnage just beats the tar out of Eddie slash Venom. Uh, Eddie's like eyes popped out of his socket and oh, all stuff. He's, what? It's, it's all meaningless because Sue can fix it. You know, showing you how intense yeah. it is. You know, Eddie remarks to himself how he's never been hit this hard before. Oh. Despite the fact that in Venom the Madness, he fought the Juggernaut. But anyway. <laughs> uh, and he fought Superman in uh, DC Marvel All Access number one. Yeah, but Superman pulls his punches. <laughs> he, he does knows. indeed. That's yeah, true. And, he, and he should, really. But, uh, you know, Carnage is coming for the finishing move. And uh, Eddie grabs the third rail on the track and then grabs Carnage and electrocutes him. Oh. Doesn't that hurt him? It does indeed. Yeah, oh. but he's a hero. He's willing to take that sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Look at what a fucking... For my I, son. I, I'll make the ultimate sacrifice. For my son. Yeah. And the symbiote's like, whoa! Yes. Yeah. That's your son. Hey, my son. <laughs> moral. And the suit's like, okay, well, let me just back that off here. That kind of hurt. Yeah. I and, see where I stand here. And then the suit's like, okay, come on. Like, I'm going to fix you. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, he be dead? Who, Eddie? No, the suit. No, the suit, uh, like, nah. moved out of the way. Oh. So it's like, don't do this. And then he's like, oh, God, it's my I'm son. I'm going to do it. Okay. The suit's like, okay, well, then you're doing this by yourself. Yeah. And then I'll fix you afterwards. <laughs> okay. Which he does. That's a good deal. Yeah. It works. But as you, you can, can see, be a corpse too. Oh, whoa. This is what Carnage looks like underneath the suit. All right. Okay. It's a reanimated corpse. So he thinks he defeated Carnage. He, he, by he knows he it? hasn't defeated uh, him. He knows okay. he slowed him down. But he needs okay. to get away. Well, maybe you should set him on fire now. Now that he's like knocked out. The fire doesn't work anymore. Now it's like oh. fire and sonics don't work on him. He's too powerful. He's too strong. So he's invincible? More or less. Uh, well, electricity seemed to help. Yeah, but not enough. Not enough. Well, not enough that was They're going to need carried. more electricity. It's, it, um, it's not going to be like back to the future. Well, there's a throw him into the sun or whatever. No, they're not going to do that. Okay. So Eddie needs a place to recuperate, fix himself. He's got no place to go. San Diego. Right? Got to go. No, uh, San, San Francisco. Francisco. Go underground. Yeah, it's go underground, yeah. No, we don't go there. <laughs> Uh, instead, I was thinking Sub Diego. That's oh, entirely so wrong. totally different. It's a book. whole different universe. That's right. So uh, Eddie goes to Peter Parker's apartment. Oh God. I'm sorry, Peter Parker. I don't know lives anybody in else. Six sixteen. Right. Yeah, that's apartment six sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> nice little reference there. So uh, Spider Man and Eddie and Dylan go out for like lunch, breakfast, whatever. They're in like a diner. <laughs> he goes out. He goes to Spider, Spider Man. Yeah. Well, because he's talking to Eddie Brock. He can't have Peter Parker seen with this, this oh, known fugitive. Right. And they talk, and Eddie's basically just like, so here's the situation, we need help, blah, blah, blah. Spider-Man ha has gone through, like, at least three different iterations of Venom at this point, and mm -hmm. knows that Eddie is on, like, a redemption path, and that <laughs> if, if Spider-Man remembered half the shit that Eddie did leading up to this, he would never associate with him, but he needs to selectively only remember the things that Eddie has done to redeem himself and make himself into an anti-hero for the 21st century, so he's way more passive and cool with Eddie than he normally would be. I see. But, uh, you know, they're talking. He tries to connect with Dylan. Dylan thinks that Spider-Man's a menace because he reads the Daily Bugle. Oh, my God. And uh, Dylan uh, leaves. You know, Eddie's like, Dylan, let me and Spider-Man talk for a second. And Spider-Man goes, so... What's what's with the child yeah, what? endangerment that you're committing right now? Right. And then he's like, it's my son. And he's like, well, that explains why he doesn't like me. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, he says, It's like, genetic. And he goes, so he is he your, like, does he know he's your son? And he's like, what do you mean? He goes, well, because he keeps calling you Eddie. <laughs> and he goes, no, he doesn't. And you're not going to tell him. And he's like, take it from somebody who doesn't have parents. I wish that I could connect with my parents again. Like, be a father to your son. Mm. Yeah, but Dylan already assumes his dad died. Yeah, he right. believes he had. It's not that he, parents. but his dad was also an parents. abusive asshole. So yeah, it's like so it's I'd like... much rather have like a cool dad that has rad symbiote powers. <laughs> so right. then uh, we see the mass grave in Carnage Town, and like on the news, mm. uh, Eddie asks him to turn up the you know the volume. We see a few characters: Angelo Fortunato who had been Venom in Spider-Man's Marvel Knights series that we did where he looks like an orca whale. Uh, also, <laughs> characters from the Life Foundation, the five original symbiotes, oh. their hosts. All, I think all of them are dead at this point. Uh. But the symbiotes are still around. Right. Uh, so we see like a few characters who had been 
in those stories, they're in that grave too. Like oh. Carnage didn't just dig up the people of that town. He dug up. Right. He gathered them he there. He gathered them there. Exactly. Oh. Just to send a message. Be like, nobody's safe. This includes General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, who was Red Hulk and also had a symbiote himself. Is he, he's dead? His he's, body's there? He's dead too. What? Yeah, they killed him off. Oh, they I didn't, didn't know what to that. do with him after they made him Red Hulk. Oh. So, uh, you know, they made him Dead Hulk. Right. So <laughs> Eddie's having a having a meltdown because he knows that Annie Weying's body must be there, and so hmm. the, at that point, clandestinely, a pair of jerks try to rob the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant where Spider Man is clearly in public. It's eating. raining and they can't see through the windows. Okay. But uh, it's great because Spider Man and Venom are just kind of like flippy for it. <laughs> Spider Man defeats them. Uh, I mean, shouldn't it just be, like, you see them, you're like, get out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just stop. <laughs> and he, So he's like, do you have a place to go? And he's like, oh, I think I do. And it's Rex Strickland's safe house, the place from the original Venom arc that we read. Uh, that, like, bunker that he set up with, okay. like, yeah. with, like, old the jury weapons and, weapons and yeah. stuff. Yeah. That has been set up. And uh, in the Venom story, Eddie has connected with another character, uh, Ultimate Reed Richards from the 1610 universe. Hmm. Uh, Why is AKA, he here? Uh, because of Secret Wars. He made it. He made it. He's one of the ones that made it. He's one of the few that made he's it. He's also, what was his name? The Maker. The Maker. So he's the Maker right now. He's very interested in symbiotes because there are symbiotes in the Ultimate Universe, but they're like anti-cancer suits. They're not like alive or anything. Right. Okay. The Maker is obsessed with symbiotes. Why? I'll just tell you. Because he <laughs> believes that if he can connect symbiotes of the 616 universe with a symbiote from the 1610 universe, he can wear a symbiote suit that will protect him so that when he travels between universes, the, the idea is he can't get to the ultimate universe. Isn't it oh, destroyed or whatever? Yeah, well, it's, it's thought destroyed, but he does want to go home. And it's thought destroyed, but Donny Cates loves Ultimate Comics. So he wants to bring it back. And Bendis is persona non grata at Marvel too, but like Cates likes the Ultimate Universe. So it's like, so like if I can find a connection, maybe I can find out if it's there. Right, well he knows it's there and he needs to like I don't know, reignited or something. Like it's kind of like he knows the that symbiotes are the key. The symbiotes are the suit he needs to wear so that he can survive the tr the, 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 the transition. The, 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 transition. Right. the symbiotes are my vessel. Yes. Yeah. Well, <sighs> okay, but symbiotes in the six sixteen universe can already heal. So why do they need the healing abilities of? Well, it's not necessarily that he needs the suit from his universe to heal. It's more that I was explaining that that's what the suit is in the Ultimate Universe, he needs that because it's a piece of that universe. Oh, Isn't okay. he a piece of that universe? Some piece of that Did universe and prints it onto the symbiote. he's yeah. from 1610? Yeah, no. no, I need another thing. No, because he's still a physical being and it would hurt. Like, it, it, you can't just walk through. I need, a, I need a shield made of a thing from the 616 universe. Made from both universes. Yeah. So from both, okay. That's yes. what he's looking to do. Yeah. That, but he's lying. Uh, that's his true motivation. Right. What he actually tells Brock he's trying to do is he's like, we need to extract these codices from these former hosts and destroy them before Carnage can get them. Or so what? He, well, because if Carnage gets them, and he can te he can create the tether between himself and Null and wake up and bring them back. Like, why does he need? What are the codices? Well, it's just like I'm not at full capacity. I'm not strong enough. If I get all these codices, like there aren't enough symbiotes to go oh. around, but there's tons of codices from they previous. They make me symbiotes. stronger. They make me stronger. Is there like a count? He needs like I need like thirty and, codices, and I have like twenty, and I so I need like ten. like how, where is, is the like is tension a, in this book? There is a hidden number okay. that we don't establish. <laughs> But for the most part, what we need yep. to do is... We just got to get as many as we can. As many as we can. And, and like, hopefully that'll be enough to stop. And the more symbiotes he absorbs, the worse it is because, like, you know, codices right. are smaller than symbiotes. Like, whatever. Spoilers, he gets enough. Yeah, of course well, he Well, obviously. Like, don't worry about that. <laughs> we're, 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 enjoy the ride. Because here's the thing, is that, like, you know, when you're, when you're explaining these things with all the context involved, it sounds stupid as hell. But, like, I promise you, one of the things that I really like about Absolute Carnage is that, like, it was, it was drawn and written by the same goddamn people all five issues that all the tie-in books didn't really matter and it came out on fucking time. Mm -hmm. And like, if you can check all those boxes, congratulations, you're an Eisner Award winning creator because like, <laughs> there, it's, it's impossible to do apparently. Plus, all the retcons are still cosmetic or enhancements. They're not the book like- book looks good. It looks good. The, the characters are fun. Yeah, and, and the story is Engaging at the very least, it's arresting. It makes you want to read the next page, mm. and maybe when it's all over, you're like, "Oh my god, I just ate an entire box of donuts," <laughs> as opposed to having like a meal. But you, but you, I did enjoy I love eating, eating those, those donuts. donuts. I love donuts, man. But, but listen, who doesn't fucking love donuts? Okay, 
As Donny Cates is wont to say, chains are cool. <laughs> I don't care what Edward says. Like that's, that, that, that's, cool. and that's a that's a Cates and Stegman attributed quote to Todd McFarlane when people asked why Spawn is so popular. Spawn <laughs> McFarlane says something to the effect of, "Well, you know, chains are cool. Kids know." Oh, so your character is popular because of like one physical attribute. Well, that no, he you has. know, his face looks like Spider-Man. And he's got a cool cape, and you know. Yeah, because it's a rad design. He's a rad, cool design, and he's got a really obvious origin. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Oh, also, it was created in 1991. That's all you need. Yep. The perfect recipe for longevity, uh, but not for a, uh, a a good movie. So, you know, Brock and Maker are working together, and obviously Maker's a piece of shit. Yeah. And he has ulterior motives, but for the most part, Maker has just been like helping out Brock. Okay. And uh, what does Dylan think of all this? He Dylan goes to this weird warehouse. He sees this guy with a mask on that looks like a xenomorph. Yeah. Yeah. Or the Joker. Mm-hmm. He's always just smiling because he's just so nefarious. But uh, so he builds, so like, you know, he's talking to uh, Brock. Do you have a Xbox or something <laughs> that I could play with? No, but I do oh, have these okay. symbiote codices that you can like catalog and fucking. <laughs> I have work for you. <laughs> Lame. No, I'm not going to trust you to do it. No. But, you know, they're talking about how they need to stop Carnage and, you know, Maker's like, oh, gee whiz, if only there was a machine that could extract the codices from the former hosts and then, you know, incinerate them. Oh wait, I have a machine like that. I built it 35 days ago. Okay. Watchmen. <laughs> I already built it 35 days ago. I don't understand. What are these random gross tubes connecting it? Yeah, the it's just, it looks cool. Okay. It's just, it's, it's, where it, does the, where does it go to be incinerated? There's two pieces of... Well, it doesn't really go anywhere. He's actually collecting them. Yeah, he's a liar. He's lying oh, about he's it. he's lying. But well, that would be the question I'd be asking if I was Brady. Well, Brock's, if I was a, dumb, Eddie. Brock's a dumbass. He like, know. where does it incinerate it exactly? Right. Well, there's, a, there's an incinerator, like, at the bottom. Like, it's inside oh. of it. Like, he could say that these two things are centrifuges, and, like, it... Yeah, but we're inside of it. <laughs> The well, controls are inside of it. You want me to explain no, the math? Right, you want, in the middle of, oh, okay, Jesus. You, you want me to show you my math? I'm Reed fucking I'm Richards. I'm the maker. And you're Eddie Brock. In uh, my universe, you're a child. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I just, it's just a little confusing is all. So Spider-Man <laughs> arrives with his godson, Normie Osborn, Harry Osborn's son. Why? Uh, fathers and sons. Because Normie. Well, adopted fathers and whatever. Yeah, that's right. Spiritual fathers. But, uh, but uh, okay, so... Dan Slott's last Spider-Man arc resulted in Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin, procuring the Carnage symbiote and then putting it on himself and becoming the Red Goblin. He also took a piece of that symbiote and put it on his grandson, Normie, making the Kid Goblin. Or whatever the hell he was called. Who cares? It's Kid Carnage. Kid Could Carnage. Be. But like the idea here is that like Kid Carnage had a codex. Right. So we're, and, and Norman Osborn... When it was all over and Norman was defeated, uh, the Carnage symbiote imprinted onto Norman's brain. So Norman Osborn. Normie. No, no. Norman Osborn, Norman. the Green Goblin, okay. is adult. in Ravencroft and he thinks he's Cletus Cassidy. <laughs> okay. So Cletus Cassidy, like the one you remember from the 90s, yeah. is in the body of Norman Osborn because nobody has any idea what to do with Norman Osborn anymore. Wow. So he's in Ravencroft, the Arkham Asylum of the Spider-Man universe. And Normie Osborn <sighs> is kind of left in the wind. So Peter brings Normie here so that they can take the codex out of Normie. But Spider-Man doesn't trust the maker's math. Right. So it's he's like, like you're going to kill him. Right. He's like, I don't know what you're going to do. When I'm putting my godson in a machine in a warehouse made by what is essentially a xenomorphic Reed Richards. Like, yeah. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Why did you bring him then? Right. Well, because we need Normie in here because the Spider-Man tie-ins have Normie and Dylan becoming besties. So <laughs> nobody is on board for Maker's plan of shoving a child in the machine. Right. And he's like, well, we need to test it. And if you're not going to let me test it on these children, you maybe you should grab somebody with a codex that you that, you, that is dis oh. that is disposable. Someone you don't care about. So we need to break into the Ravencroft Institute Wait. and get Norman Osborn. Okay, that's not where I thought that was going. Yeah, I thought Spider-Man not... was going to go in it. Right. Spider-Man and Venom break in with the help of John Jameson, who had been a, uh, like a, he worked there. Okay. John Jameson is J. Jonah Jameson's son, who's also the Man-Wolf. 
He showed up in yes. one of the Venom books we did on back issues. And Space yes. Man. Yeah, he's a space, he's a space man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. So and now he's working at an at an institute. Or well, a, he had been working at the institute back in like the '90s, and then like he became a, a mercenary and an astronaut, and you know they did things with Man Wolf for a while, but you know. Yeah. I mean, oh, he, he was in that Venom books we did, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah. As yeah. Man Wolf, he deserves to be at Ravencroft. Well, <laughs> he you know, belongs there. It, it, it's it's an asylum. He yeah, he's not crazy. He, he doesn't think he became a man wolf. Yeah, he literally he actually has is a, man a moon wolf. gemstone that makes him a man wolf. So sure he does. He has a moon gemstone <laughs> I mean, like, that makes him a man wolf. He okay. does. So uh, Carnage shows up, and so he just grabs pieces of his symbiote, and just starts throwing them at people, making little like Carnage drones. So do they have a full like he? It's just a piece of the symbiote. Yes. So Do they get the whole suit? Or? They they get full suits, but oh. they don't have like. They're not, basic. they're not. They're not autonomous. Yeah, they're okay. part. They have the spiral. They're being commanded by Carnage. I see. So Carnage sends his drones to go and stop Spider-Man and Venom from keeping Carnage from Norman. Okay. Is it something that he has always been able to do? Or no? Okay, so maybe <laughs> he's got the Grendel collecting. Thing. Yeah. yeah, it's because okay. he's got the Grendel, the dragon suit. But yeah, Spider-Man and Venom fight Carnage, they barely manage to like wall themselves into the cell that is holding Norman Osborn, who of course thinks he's Cletus Cassidy. Uh-huh. Uh, they're trapped in there, they can't get out. Venom basically encourages Spider-Man, he's like, you like, you gotta get us out of here. And he's like, there's nothing, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's four walls. Like, There's nothing in here. Four, there's no way to get out. He goes, be strong. And he's like, this is gonna hurt. So Spider-Man webs his fists and just punches the wall to try and drill themselves out of the, of, of the cell. Yikes. I mean, he's Spider-Man. He should be able to do that. He's pretty strong. But, like, it's... It's like, designed, it's like feet though. feet of concrete. Yeah. So... Yeah, Spider- but he held up a whole building or whatever it's that true. one time. So Spider-Man is, is doing his best, but Carnage breaks through, and he grabs Norman, and Spider-Man's like, please don't kill him, because he's all about not killing, even though it's Norman Osborn. And at this point, he had still had sex with Gwen Stacy and stuff, so he deserves to die. Yes. But, uh... Oh, yeah, and he murdered her, too. Carnage goes, I'm not here to kill Norman. Oh. I'm here to help. And he enhances the codex within Norman. And so he recreates Carnage. So we have, like... What? We have, we have 21st century Carnage. Or Dark Carnage. Grendel Carnage? We have Grendel Carnage. He's the main... He's real Carnage. But Norman Osborn thinks he's Carnage from, like, the 90s. Right. So Dark Carnage gives Norman more symbiote. And he basically becomes retro the carnage. Old carnage. Retro carnage. Okay. But with a different physical body, but yeah, all but who the. Who cares because we don't see that anymore? So let right. there be carnage. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> now, why does New Carnage do that? Why does New Carnage want why does old dark carnage, carnage want old around? carnage? Yeah. Because Donnie Cates wants to have old carnage in the book. <laughs> I like retro carnage so that when we destroy <laughs> new Grendel no, carnage, we still have uh, carnage. I, I don't know because we don't. Like, we're not gonna make Norman Osborn into Cletus. It's not like Cletus Cassidy's a better character than Norman Osborn. No, but but if we can keep Carnage, why not both? Without having yes. to have Cletus Cassidy, right? But let's have both anyway. Yeah, it's, like it's sometimes excuse... Cletus Cassidy will come out. Maybe sometimes it'll be Norman Osborn. I think they get rid of it eventually. Uh, okay. Like for now, we're getting twice the Carnage. Right, two times the Carnage. Double so, the Carnage, double the fun. So yeah. now they got drones and two Carnages, and they're screwed. Oh, wow. So Venom just is. So Venom uh, blasts through the wall. Okay. Yeah, Spider-Man. Spider-Man weakened it enough. Exactly. Yeah. And Spider-Man's like, I'm out of web fluid. I used it all to like web up my hands and break the wall. And Venom's like, no problem, we got you. And remember, we had that moment where Venom sprouted wings and saved Miles Morales Spider-Man. Yes. Now, Peter Parker's gonna find out that Venom's got wings. <laughs> and so he does and they fly away and he says, what is going on? I hate everything, all of it. <laughs> so now old Carnage is hanging out with new Carnage and you know, it's so great because... Do they have like a, a freaking Agent Smith thing? They, no. Oh, it, it's kind of like old Carnage. Me. me too. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not that. Instead, it's well, great. Thank like, God. Norman Osborn, classic Carnage goes, are we going to go after them? And Dark Carnage goes, no. There's nowhere for them to go. And so classic Carnage goes, well, that's some vague bullshit right there. Uh-oh, <laughs> let's go start murdering people. And he goes, no, 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 no. The young wolf runs. He kills one, the old wolf walks, and he kills them all. And so Classic Carnage goes, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yes! Thank you, Classic Carnage. And it's great because, you know, everyone keeps calling him Osborne. He's like, you're pissing me off. <laughs> you I'm not Norman Osborne. Hey, and it's like so obnoxious because like, it, no, it is. Like, shut yeah. up, Norman. 
<laughs> so, you know, they uh, <laughs> so they regroup Venom and uh, Spider-Man. You know, they need to gather up everybody and get all the codices before before Carnage does. Oh, right. God, please tell me Norman Osborn, like Normie, doesn't be like dead and break Norman Osborn out of it. No. Okay, good. No, Normie's role is more or less play, paid off in Spider-Man tie-ins and Venom tie-ins. Mm. Uh, the 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 story is just like Normie and Dylan are stuck together in this creepy warehouse with the Maker. Uh, they deal with Maker. Uh, Maker reveals the nefarious scheme mm. of his plot, and uh, you know he his nefarious he, scheme to go home. Yeah, but like at the expense <laughs> of everybody else, and he's got to ah. make this crazy. He he like makes a hybrid suit out of the codices that he collects because they yeah, get attacked by the Life Foundation symbiotes. He, like in this whole tie-in, they get attacked by the five symbiotes: Phage, Lasher, oh my and god! And so he extracts their codices, or actually oh. takes their symbiotes, and then uh, Sleeper shows up who is another, the sixth son of Venom. Oh. And so he arrives and then, uh, you know, he protects Dylan and there's this whole thing where it's like, okay, so obviously this is the symbiote for Dylan. This is, Dim this is oh, Dylan's symbiote. Yeah. But uh, it isn't. And they keep teasing it and it never happens. And it's like, oh, fine. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, ha ha Maker takes those five symbiotes and he puts them together and he becomes like a hybrid symbiote. And uh, Dylan and... <sighs> It's like the fucking Voltron symbiote. Yeah, He's yeah. And all the so time. Dylan and, and and Normie have to like deal with Maker, and there's a whole oh, thing. Oh yeah, two little kids are gonna deal with. Well, the they run away from him. Rich, you know? uh, uh, Reed Richards. Yeah, yes. one of them has a piece of carnage in him or whatever. Yeah, but that doesn't come to play. Oh, yeah, it's not like it comes out. No, no, it's not like he's like Rah! no, it's nothing like that. But uh, while that tie-in is happening, he also calls Eddie because he's like, listen. There's something going on with Dylan. I found out from like checking him out because I stole his blood and stuff that uh, don't you shot my son. He didn't even say it. He just he just we know that. Yeah. yeah. He goes, uh, yeah. Listen, uh, I hacked the FBI's database and I checked out that mass grave and Ann Wang's body isn't in it. Oh. And he's like, well, what the fuck? It's like because Carnage didn't want it because the codex wasn't there because she passed the codex. Into Dylan. Yeah, that ain't a thing. What? Oh no. <laughs> this fake thing is not real. With all these symbiote shit, that's you know, not a thing. You don't just pass like DNA on and then you don't have it anymore. No, no, no. But it's not DNA. It's a codex. It's a codex. It like See, attaches it itself to the DNA. Your DNA. It's not like it didn't integrate and become on changed DNA. Yeah. It's a DNA with a symbiote on top of it. It's the symbiote's like grabbing it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's attached. It's only to one. It. Only it's one. Yeah. yeah. Well, and hey, listen. That would take forever. How about this? You know what? If you want to talk about these things being sentient and stuff, the Codex sensed that Anne was never going to be more interesting than she ever had been. <laughs> and so it attached, it just went, oh shit, there's some sex going on. I'm going to travel to the reproductive se section yeah. and attach myself to the egg, you know, and just wait for my time to spring out. I need to get out of this thing. Right. See, I assume the Codex was like, once you are a symbiote, yeah. it's part of you, I mean, like all of you. It is, but none of these but other it, characters but it had actually like, it, it actually like migrated from her into, it like left her and went into her baby. Yes. Well, yeah. in, it's like, this, fuck you. In this implication, I want it's the like baby. Dylan is like made from human and symbiotic material. Like the oh. Codex is like part of it. It's not like that the baby's egg had a symbiote around it and like Dylan was born with a symbiote. It's more like Dylan is part symbiote. He's like half symbiote. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. That's so, okay. <laughs> well, it's so that's that Dylan so can be the one. Well, yeah, yeah but, like, I know, but like, <laughs> damn, that's where we're going like, with that. At some point he like is a babe and he's crying and like pieces are like coming off of him because he doesn't know how to control shit. Sure, no. but like he doesn't. Yeah, but he does. Well, but, but we didn't. We no, didn't. but he actually because it's like part of him. It's not just on him. He actually has like the most control over it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> which is why it's never shown up before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because like the other symbiotes are like they're like on you. They're like mm -hmm. wrapped around yeah, you and shit. Like this is like within him. Yeah, no, he is from, it. Yeah, like, he is. He is fifty percent symbiote. And it hasn't needed to come out yet. Should no. he be part goopy? It's like a, it's like being a mutant. Like until you need it, like it doesn't. Come well, it doesn't your 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 X gene doesn't kick in until yeah. adolescence. So his symbiote doesn't kick in. DNA until codex doesn't kick well, in. Well, he is until it. This it's not like he's gonna like his symbiote's gonna turn on. He is one. Yeah. It's just that this is what we look at when he's, we see a human symbiote. Hybrid. He's both human and symbiote. symbiote. Yeah. 
in one. Right. What does that mean? It means that he can do cool Neo shit in this book. What does so, it mean to be a human and a god at the same time? Right, exactly. What is Jesus? Yeah, that, he's symbiote Jesus. Or Hercules. It's or a de Her he's a demi-symbiote. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So Carnage uh, sets, awesome. up, sets up shop under the city, creates another spire. There's these spires that are like all over the place. They're just right. connections to Nell. But uh, <laughs> he he whips up more symbiote shit and just starts like sending symbiotes all over New York. And so it's Maximum Carnage again, yeah. but like with symbiotes instead of like Shriek and Demo Goblin and stuff. Okay. So, uh, you know... Carnage explains to Norman because Norman's a pain in the ass that there's at least five other tie-ins and we see like a little montage there's a tie-in oh. there's a tie-in there's a tie-in there's a tie-in there's a tie-in <laughs> and uh, he's like those those are all happening right those now those books are all happening and you can buy them wouldn't you like that but turn the page and they're completely irrelevant now <laughs> okay and we establish in one of the tie-ins like Miles Morales Spider-Man wants some cool shoes uh, doesn't matter but like he he uh, is dogged by the scorpion, who of course had been Venom at one point or another. Yeah. So the the, the, the symbiotes are looking for him too, uh, the carnages that is. Right. And uh, so Miles gets caught up in a fight for his life with Scorpion. The oh. two of them have to team up to fight these uh, these symbiotes. Oh, it's the team and, you've uh, been waiting for. Yeah, and Miles never got a symbiote, so he doesn't have a codex. Right. Uh, Venom He's shows up, and they, uh, you know, and and he helps. But Carnage gets the Codex out of Scorpion and oh. paralyzes him for his troubles. And, uh, also, oh, but he survived. Yes, but oh. he also takes Miles. And Miles is absorbed by one of these like partial symbiotes. And so we got a cool Miles Morales Spider-Man symbiote oh. monster. And so he's doing... And, and now he has a Codex. Yes, he does. But like we're not going to worry about that right now. And <laughs> I, I actually I don't know if he does because like these are, these are offshoots. They're not right. full symbiotes. They don't create a Codex because... <laughs> Even though Carnage himself was an offshoot. Yes. And was able to create codices well, but, and know, other Car people. Carnage is a child of Venom. It's like yeah. another symbiote. These are... Oh, he didn't just break a piece. Venom didn't break a piece off of himself no. like Carnage is doing here. Yes. He actually birthed, birthed a child. Birthed a new symbiote. Even though it really looked like it was just a even piece of it. Even though it's a piece Absolutely of Absolutely looks like that, but that's because what do you... Well, you know, what, is, what, is what else would it look like? like? Yeah. Know. All right. So life, life Foundation, sleep with the same deal. So... Anyway, uh... Has Venom ever had any children apart from that no. one no, time? No, he learned. Oh, like, yeah, well, he had, yes. I mean, he had the Life Foundation... Yeah, symbiote. but I mean, that was Sleeper. all around the same time. Yeah, but then, like, in, like, 2018 what? or something, I think Sleeper was invented. Okay. So, you know. Yeah. But, uh... You know, I miss having kids. I'm gonna have another. <laughs> Bloop. Uh, <laughs> Venom did not want those Life Foundation children. <laughs> no. They were extracted from him. Right. So, uh, you know, Venom... The suit and Eddie are having like a kind of conflict. They're dealing with uh, classic Carnage, who's like attacking them. Mm. And uh, Venom's like, "What are you, you going to? What are you going to do to Normie, your grandson?" And that's like that kind of gets through to him. Oh. And the suit's like, "We got to kill these guys. We got to kill them." And Eddie's like, "No, we're not doing that anymore. We're not. It's not the '90s anymore." <laughs> and the suit's like, "If you can't do the heavy lifting, then right. I will find someone else who can." Oh God. But, this again? Uh, yeah, this again. So, oh, Jesus. So you and these uh, fucking, oh, oh, she's not strong enough for me. Uh, oh, I gotta go find some. He'll be back. you will be back. You're always, You'll come, always back. come back. Lee Price, Mac Gargan. Sound familiar? <laughs> what, 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 what's, the consist what's the through line? Eddie fucking Brock. Oh, go visit your mother. She needs the visit. <laughs> go leave. Go you leave. Go, you know, here go. The Academy Awards, <laughs> the best. Put upon actor goes to the the Venom symbiote. <laughs> anyway, so this, the Venom uh, symbiote tries to stab Norman Osborn in the heart and just kill him. Oh, uh, it, it it doesn't because the suit saves him. Yeah, and there's actually a cool moment where like you know the the the, the carnages are like ripping uh, Scorpion apart. Oh, and the suit needs to kill Norman, and so like Eddie like runs to save uh, Scorpion, but the suit doesn't leave. So it just he just runs out of the suit, <laughs> and the suit's like, no, no, we're doing this over here. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so no, I almost had him. I'm going to get him. Right, but then like you know, Eddie's like, I can't save him alone. And the suit's like, when this goes wrong, it's your fault. Yeah, don't blame me. You really me. need to kill old school Carnage mm -hmm. right now, right. not save that supervillain. Yeah, so they do <laughs> just save let him, him die, and they bring him to the to the compound, and you know, Spider-Man's gathered the heroes, whereas the, Venom's job was supposed to go get like the villains who had had the codices. Oh, okay. So they meet, uh, but he already got the codex out of him, right? He's yeah, paralyzed, so yeah. they don't really need his. No, but body. he's also gonna die, you know. So like they gotta save him. Why? There's yeah, people he's dying everywhere. No, they're being absorbed. They, you know, they 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 stab Scorpion in the spine. 
Oh, you know, so all the like New Yorkers, they're not being killed. No, they're just, they're just being, being they're just used. becoming drones. Oh, yeah. okay. And they're, they're gonna be the able most, to save them. Uh, sure. They're getting the most exercise they have in a long time. It's true. Yeah. Okay. No, they live in New York. They all gotta walk. Yeah, they gotta so, walk everywhere. Uh, See, I, if I was Spider Man, I'd be like, he's killing those people. Those right. people, are, we gotta deal with that, <laughs> not save the fucking scorpion. Yeah, we have to free yeah. all these people. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the maker left. I mean, he had his adventure with Normie and oh. uh, Dylan. He went nuts and left, and he had like he all the off. yeah, and he had all the he had the, he had the hybrid, and uh, oh, he got it. He got a, a hybrid. He didn't do it all. It didn't uh, happen yet. No, but it's uh, not gonna happen. For no, him. he didn't get the codices. He just got the the hybrids of the Life Foundation. Series. Right. Oh, okay. and then that all falls apart. But like, uh, the lab is left behind, and Spider Man grabs like all these different people who have had symbiotes in the past, and Bruce Banner, who has never had a symbiote. And there's actually a great moment where they're like, Bruce Banner, like when we. And, and, when were you a symbiote? Well, like, Eddie meets Bruce, and he's like, hey, Bruce Banner, I think we've met. And he's like, yeah, we did. There was a really stupid story where we referenced the Hans and Franz from SNL. Yes. Hulk versus Venom. Yes. Uh, we did we, that. We did, we, you know, he's like, we, we had an adventure or two. But interestingly enough, Hulk has never gotten a symbiote, which is kind of weird. Don't you think it's kind of an oversight? Do you think it's kind of weird. weird. Yeah. And it's like, they say that in the scene. Like, <laughs> isn't that kind of weird? Like, there's no Wolverine Venom, but there's never been a Hulk, Hulk Venom? Venom? Isn't that weird? And like, Hulk's like... I don't need your shit. <laughs> Strong enough. Right. I don't need you. Right. So, you know, they're all there. And they I got wonder Bruce. if the gamma radiation would do something weird to it. Right? Mm. Be neat. Be neat to see. What the fuck is this? That's Sleeper. Uh, Sleeper, the symbiote. Sleeper's a cat? Well, it was a dog or a wolf, because it was like an alpha or whatever. And uh, Dylan <laughs> says he didn't like dogs, so it became a cat. So far, by the way, no Sleeper figure. Or doll. The fuck? So the Sleeper is just a symbiote. A symbiote. A symbiote. Yes. Okay. It had been using a Cree corpse to at, get here. To get right. here, but now it's like now oh, it doesn't I can, need one. Oh, well, uh, or there's a cat in there. Right. There's a dead that cat you don't see. There. Yeah. Uh, or a live cat. I, I think the idea is because it's smaller, he could just be the cat. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. As long as he doesn't get too big or be too strong. Yeah. Because then it'd be like, well, if you could just be that big and strong without a thing in you, why do they ever need the why skeleton they, inside? Yeah. Why would they ever do that? Yeah. By the way, I should say, Spider-Man does still have the codex. Okay, but at this point. he okay. won't go in because he knows that, like... It's like, I'm going to freaking die if I go in there. No, he's that's like, made by the maker. No, he's full of shit. I am. He doesn't even know who the maker is. But no. he's waiting. He's like, no, I'll, I'll be the last one to go in. That way, like, Carnage will come after me ah. instead of all of you. Okay. Um, and it's great because he's like... Oh, it's, sure, he's just not pussy. Yeah. Well, he's talking <laughs> to Ben. He's talking to Eddie, and he's like, you know, this is my responsibility. Like, I will take on the... Like, I'll deal with... It's yeah. all my fault. I brought them here. Hmm. And Eddie's... Like, the Venom suit says to Eddie, tell him that our kind has been here since the Dark Ages, hmm. since the time of Beowulf and Grendel. Tell him it's not his fault. Right. And Eddie's like, no, you're right. It's a good idea. <laughs> and Eddie <laughs> says, no. Parker. No. I you won't know, give him any solace. You know this solace. guy fucking caught the Sin Eater and, like, made me lose my job. That's when the suit is <laughs> like... But, <laughs> I'm all right, still I'm, mad I'm about mad. losing his yeah. fucking job. Piece of shit. Yeah, the suit's like, it was never me, you piece of shit. Nice beard. <laughs> the symbiote goes off and just goes... Hey, hey, Pete. <laughs> Dylan, Eddie's your dad. <laughs> you <fucks up>. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're fucking. You fuck up everything, Eddie. Yeah. You fuck up everything. You are the fuck up. That never me. I'm done. You know I'm what's, done. You know, what always sells books. Me. You know what never sells books. Eddie fucking. Eddie Brock. Brock. So they put Captain America in the machine first, and they try it, and it works. And what was Captain America friggin' symbiote? In a previous event. Okay. Eddie then scrawls the mark of null into the 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 capsule that Cap is in. Real Eddie Brock shows up. Get away! Oh no! <laughs> it's Carnage again. Ah, yep. I'm Carnage. I snuck in. This? Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, nah, I got gotcha. you. Nah. So. So what does it fuck up, Captain America? Or? No, we don't even see that. No. But uh, Carnage no, would be is really get crazy them. if he showed up as Spider-Man. Right. No, I suspect that. That's true. So Duh. you know. Excuse me. It's okay. Uh, so Carnage is here. Shit's gonna go down. Oh yeah. And the suit's like. Yeah, Eddie, you're, you're, you're going to puss out. You're not strong enough. But I know somebody who is. And he jumps onto Bruce Banner. Uh, of course. What? I was going to predict that. You know, we never like, saw I'll just wait for it. A Hulk Venom. Yep. And Hulk was there for no reason then? Yes. No, the reason was so... The reason was so that we could get Hulk Venom. We get Hulk Venom. Which we do. I, I feel like Hulk should just be able to reject the symbiote. Yeah. Just yeah, like, but he knows he needs right. to be the symbiote right now the, the, in order to fight Hulk and yeah. Super Carnage it's or whatever. That's true. Yeah. Dark Carnage. Dark Carnage. But so this Funko Pop attacks them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so like, what does he do? He smashes Carnage he while smashes. the rest of them have to regroup. And you know, Eddie's like, I gotta, you know, I have no suit. It's on Hulk. I gotta go down. He knows that there's the Rex cache that goes down there. He grabs some stuff. Cap's in the capsule. They're still like extracting the codex. Oh yeah. He grabs Cap's shield. Uh, Spider-Man is charged with protecting Dylan. Eddie, you are not allowed to touch Cap's shield. <laughs> yeah. You put that down. Nah, but I am though. <laughs> now nah, Eddie's super cool. And Cap is like, yeah, soldier, you're in. In fact, at the end of all this, Captain America invites Eddie to become an Avenger. How many brains have you eaten, Hawkeye? <laughs> Vision? Wanda? Anybody? Here? Show of hands? Uh, pretty sure it's zero. <laughs> zero. Okay, that's what I thought. Get the fuck out of here. What was I thinking? So anyway, no, no, no. I don't have a single brain eater on the team. I'd say we've got an opening for one brain eater. Right? It's like when when uh, when when Iron Man insisted that Wolverine join the Avengers. Like we don't have any murderers on this. <laughs> we need somebody who's willing to go farther. We need it. Than any of us. We need someone who'll go all the way. Yeah. And Cap's like that's messed up. Cap objected to having Wolverine on the Avengers. <laughs> invited Venom to be on the Avengers, and here's why. Because where do they do this? Avengers Mountain in the Dead Celestial. Because the Avengers suck right now, and they <laughs> right. could use some Venom. We could use. Some Eddie Brock, Venom. All the other people who had had codices in them, they're all in their pods. Okay. And he asks Peter, like, how long it's going to take? And he says, they probably have about 10 minutes. And so Eddie's like, great. I can pretend to be a hero for 10 minutes. Mm. It's a pretty, pretty good line. That's pretty good. So Eddie jumps That's into cool. the fray. Uh, he battles with Miles, which is kind of confusing because in the Miles tie-in, Miles purges the symbiote that he has and then takes on another symbiote but has a stronger will and then takes it and owns it to help save the day yeah. in the tie-in. In the, in the but, tie-in. But, in, but in this, he doesn't. So let's not worry about that. <laughs> but, oh. uh, you know, so Carnage fights. I like the tie-in being like, that's not what Miles would do. Right. This yeah. is what Miles would do. No, but like, I need him to do that. Here. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I need him to do I already drew back. him like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, dark, dark Carnage mm-hmm. imprinted onto him. He can't fight against Dark Carnage. R- right. He, he already did. Like, he did in his own time. Well, not this time. But, He's too strong right now. I, I didn't approve that. <laughs> Carnage gets the upper hand against Venom Hulk. Yeah. Which, of course, he does. Um, meanwhile, Eddie has to fight Miles. And, of course, Miles and Eddie have, like, a little bit of a rapport. Mm. Can I just say, Venom Hulk? Mm-hmm. Oh, the name? Whoopty shit. Well, he, he not says... Not the name. I'm talking about, like, the, the design. Yeah, it's not... It's Who not, cares? Yeah. It's he's just great. Venom, but he's, like, got green eyes. I know. Yeah. I and some other like, green. There's Venom. some more muscles. Yeah, it's yeah. not great. I know. Look. I mean, what are you going to do? This whole thing of, we've never seen Venom Hulk. Yes. yes. You didn't do anything cool with it. Well, I mean, like, he fights he, Carnage. He fights so, Carnage. Yeah. It's pretty... It's a bigger Venom. Yeah, well, yeah. Carnage is pretty strong, though, so... Yeah, but it's not just Venom big. You know, we've seen that. This yeah. is a, like, hybrid. You know, yeah. Green eyes, most of Hulk's physique is exposed. You know, uh-huh. they're, they're, they're trying something. It's not terribly successful. Yeah, okay. Eddie uses his vault jury glove yeah. and cap shield to blast electricity through into Miles okay. freeing Miles that's cool so now Miles and Eddie are good uh, Dark Carnage beats the shit out of uh, Venom Hulk he actually sends like his tendrils into his brain but doesn't like kill him with it it's just to just to make him stop being Hulk he depowers and then he takes the Venom suit and he augments himself with it so oh. now Dark Carnage has the Venom symbiote. The oh. actual Venom symbiote. Yes. Okay. Uh oh. And uh, now it like makes him look like a like a cool uh, Doom villain. I see. The rest of the uh, Avengers and X Men or whatever jump out of their pods and they help save the day or at the very least try and you know. All right. So the it's Codex. Been ten minutes. The Codex yes. removal worked. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but the like little drones are still attacking the machine, and you know Miles is like, "What the fuck, man? Why are they still attacking the machine? Like it's." It's supposed to destroy the codices. Why would they care? And it's like, because the maker wasn't he, actually destroying them. Yeah, he, he was just, just sitting in there. Yeah, they were just filling up. Oh, boy. So. Oh, what have you done? You've concentrated the codices in one easy-to-absorb place. <laughs> yes. So. No, my God. We see a couple of tie-ins here. Spider-Man protects Dylan and Normie from Norman Osborn Carnage. Again. Twi- there's two of those <laughs> issues in Spider-Man, but two different locations. Uh, Eddie... <laughs> Knows he's got to stop Carnage because now Carnage has got all the things he needs to connect with Null or right. whatever. Uh, Eddie goes. Oh, and he's got wings now. Yeah, he's got wings because oh. Venom's got wings. Venom had wings. Yeah, so right. uh, Eddie goes to like the Codex. I, I'm more Grendel than you ever were. <laughs> well, yeah, certainly. Mm. So he uh, he goes to the the Codex pool and he cracks it open and then he 
grabs all the codices and makes a venom suit out of them and then goes to fight uh, uh, you know dark carnage right and I guess he like makes the codices look make him look like venom so, so now there's two venoms there's so the venom. codices are in a suit but all the codices they put together grabbed. you put enough to he took, he took all of them and they all became a, a venom one suit, suit. That but but like that's that. what Dark Carnage has been but doing. He He's been grabbing a bunch of codices. codices. Anyway, yes. would that be enough to get a well, suit? Like, yeah. So now <laughs> they fight, and you know it's cool. Now what Dark Carnage needs to do is defeat this new Venom get because he's got to get those codices that it's made of to, in order to in order to. So shouldn't shouldn't Venom just go away? Yeah. Like he needs all these codices in order to do the thing. I'll just fly to the other side of the earth so right. he can't get them. Yeah. But instead, he's like, no, no, I'm going to bring them to him. <laughs> yes. And hope that I win. And if I don't, it's it's all or nothing. That's right. Either I defeat it's him a Hail Mary or play, I lose friend. and I end the world. That's exactly right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, the tie-in squad are all <laughs> teleported into the fray to help like turn the tide. Ah. Ironically, the majority of the squad that is teleported by Cloak <laughs> that arrives are characters who showed up in Maximum Carnage. Hmm. Firestar, Iron Fist, Cloak and Dagger, Morbius, and Deathlock. The rest of them are characters that had their own tie-ins, like Deadpool and Scream. Okay. Just so it's a fun. motley assortment yeah, of but it's like, hey, related in some way. Were characters. you a kid during Maximum Carnage when Donny <laughs> Cates was? Because look, remember woo, when these were, you remember this? Were here? You remember this? And I'm like, yeah, I do. I Did do remember this. And yeah. like, well, you're only getting one page. <laughs> And you can you can imagine what they do in the fight. Right, you can figure. I'm not, not going to dedicate any more any yeah. more page reels. But I remembered that that happened, and I yes, put it in. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Dark Carnage goes, and Spider-Man fought Norman Osborn Carnage, and he's so beaten down that he like passes out. So the children are defenseless. Dark Carnage, Venom, uh, show up uh, to you know. It's like Dark I didn't forget Carnage about these children. I'm going to eat them. Exactly. Or whatever. Exactly. So, uh, oh, young brain. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then the Norman Osborn Carnage like gets second wind, and then Dylan uh, becomes Neo and dissipates that symbiote, and uh, so so old school Carnage is now dead, vaporized, or destroyed or defeated. Yeah, right. no more retro for you. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And Norman Osborn's body or is not standing there afterward. No. It's just gone. It's just gone. Because he it's, was part I mean, of it. Like, I guess because that's what apart. that's well, what Carnage no, was Norman though. Because Norman is alive, so like no. he just goes over there. Maybe he knocked him across the room. Oh, okay. Like he's out. All right, all right. Uh, so then the the Venom Dark Carnage fight arrives in the room where Dylan and Normie are. Because right. like oh f crap, original old school Carnage lost. Yes. I guess I got to show up. And... Right. Well, it seems more accidental. It, or it's yeah, just the, coincidence. The thought just brought them. He finally there. just yes. got there. Yeah. Uh, Dylan passes out because that's what happens to all the protagonists that <laughs> have that kind of power when they first use it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens in uh, Matrix 2 yeah. when he stops when the machine. I can feel them. Only when he's in Wham. the real world. Yeah. He stops yeah, the bullets. Well, he technically died and then stopped the bullets. Yeah. Fair. But yeah. uh, the idea here is that, like, Dylan is the key. You know, I get his codex. He's the key like, to all this. Yeah. Can, oh, I don't want to be the key. <laughs> yeah, well, you're can the I key. Can I not be the key, Carnage? <laughs> so, you know, he's like, if I can't, so here's the deal, man. Like, I'm going to get this, this codex. And so that's the thing is that, like, Carnage reveals, Dark Carnage reveals to, to Eddie and the kids. He says... I have almost enough codices to join the hive and awaken Null. If I kill the boy, I have his codex. Maybe that's enough. But if you kill me to protect him, if you take your symbiote back, then you complete the circle and you reconnect the hive. Because the symbiote suit, like the Venom symbiote suit is now connected with other pieces. And so like, sure. once it's connected, it'll, it'll still, no matter what happens, we're doing King and Black, so shut the fuck up. Well, because he assembled himself from codices. Right. Like now you're just as much a connection to Null or whatever as yeah, I so am. You take the Venom symbiote back, to kill me, you will still yeah. connect it. Yeah. Uh, Venom, of course, is like, there's no choice. I gotta save my son. I so gotta he, save my boy. Yeah, so he forces the codices to make him an uh, awesome necro sword and <laughs> says, fuck Much the world. Much like Null does. Yeah, mm hmm. And says, fuck the world, and then stabs Carnage, takes the suit, reconnects, wakes up Null. Nobody knows that except for him. Uh -huh. Null wakes up. He sends out the symbiotes, reconnects them. There are enough symbiotes have had sex with each other <laughs> by reconnecting, and yep. I am awake. And yeah. merging for me to do this, mm -hmm. for me to show up, for yep. me to show up in the book and be a character. Exactly. Oh, a new Grendel. Yep, makes a new Grendel. And he's like, all right, so now Null's on his way. Yeah, but they don't see that happen. They don't see that happen, so they're like, Eddie, Eddie, do we win? And he's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, uh, for now, we won. Right? Well, for now. For now. What, do you, what does that mean? Yeah. Don't worry about it. So, you know, Eddie thanks Spider-Man. 
Oh, when Eddie saved the day, by the way, he was like, this is for my son! Right. And uh, so, you know, now Dylan knows that Eddie's his dad. Oh. Like, what, this, what was that about your son? Well, they literally had this, uh, this, this scene where he's like, uh, No, I meant, uh, you know, the sun and the sky. And the moon. Yeah. Now they sit down next to each other. He goes, hey, buddy, what's going on? He goes, yeah. And then they just had this, this thousand-yard stare. He goes, did you say I was your son? <laughs> and it's like, Whoa, You bro, owe me bro, so bro. many birthday presents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, the, that, and that's how the book ends. It ends with, like, Dylan finding out that Eddie is his son. Yeah. That is... I, mean, I thought I thought things were messed up because I was half symbiote. Right. Now I'm your son. I'm your son. That is much worse. This is it's all terrible. There's no good news in my life. Yeah. But yeah. So now Dylan knows the truth. So now Just knocking Eddie Brock down <laughs> yeah. every peg. Oh. So now Eddie and Dylan. It's, now it's a father son book. Yeah. You know, it'd be awesome mm. if he actually wasn't his son. He was simply birthed yeah, from... he's just a symbiote. The he's, symbiote. He's Venom's son. Yeah. yeah. No, I was... He was sperm. immaculately right. conceived by the symbiote. the symbiote going into his mom. And See, yeah. now, that sounds great, but midichlorians sound stupid? <laughs> I like I like that because it's just like, did you say I was your son? And the suit's like, yes. Yeah. Not Eddie. Yeah. No. Me. <laughs> yeah, because he technically is like a child of Venom and Eddie. Because it's Venom's Codex. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So either so way, it's his either son way ish. It's a it's like a three way kid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But and two like, of the three are the same thing in some sense. More or less. Kind yeah. of. Kind of. But that's absolute carnage. Absolute carnage is just like I you know I gotta ah. I gotta go on a mad dash to get everything. And if I do, yeah, I gotta collect all the MacGuffins. And you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Right. Like, it's it's either you, way, I win. You didn't really need it. Because like all you needed to do was have like no wake up because right. that was what you're gonna do. But it's kind of a fun prelude because you're like, you know, man, if this is what Carnage can do, imagine right. what Null's gonna do. Oh. Right. And you did defeat the Carnage. Like Carnage is defeated. Yes. Carnage is gone. And he's not gonna come back. He's off the table for, for now. now. Yeah. Yeah. As always. Both both retro and Neo Carnage. That's yeah. true, yes. Or Dark Carnage, I guess. Either way, yeah. yeah. But both Carnages are and now it, defeated. And it's important that like they won right. because now Venom is around to like fight Null when he shows up. Whereas totally. if Carnage had won, it would just be like, I just resurrected Null and I'm also on Earth. And right, so, so like he's gonna really to, be unbeatable. Yeah, you'd have to have like a whole event's worth of action plus another event because right. it took all this to beat Carnage. Yeah. Yeah. I can almost from this, I see like when the King in Black comes back, mm -hmm. like they're gonna have to redistribute all the symbiotes, mm. and everyone's gonna ha that had a suit is gonna have to get the suit again to defeat him. That'd be kind of cool. That's not what happens. I mean, so I don't know. um, no. Yeah. Oh, you know? Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, done? I read it. Yeah, no. It's, oh, yeah, King it's, in Black's over. Oh, it's over. Oh, oh it's long over. over. It's yeah. all over. Um, so when Null is like awakened, yes. Uh, the symbiote prison that he's in mm -hmm. is like no longer able to contain him. Yeah. Does this image here of all these symbiotes, does this imply that like Null just immediately takes them over? Yes. Okay, so like as soon as they are no longer strong enough to stop him, they switch from trying to stop him to being minions of him. Right. Okay. Yeah. Wow, it's like an all or nothing thing. Yes. Either they completely stop him right, or, or he they're... completely takes them over. Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Because otherwise it'd be Null just like riding a dragon for another year and a half. Right. With a big wave of symbiotes being like, no! Stop! Just yeah. one big goopy hand just trying to pull him back. Yeah. Which actually be kind of fun. That but, would be fun. You know, but now, now, he, now he can now use... Now he commands now he can, them. Now, now symbiotes can rain from the sky! <laughs> yeah, but is it that he's connected with all the symbiotes? Like, yeah. the symbiotes on Earth mm -hmm. connecting and, and right, being but together... Like, it's not that he controls them now. No, not right no, now, but when he gets he got there, closer, he yeah. yeah, but There's a if range. they were connected enough to release him, mm -hmm. shouldn't that connection still be strong enough for them to be taken over? Well, uh, makes no sense. Whatever. Well, no, uh, yeah, it's something special about Venom, though, yeah. right? Venom's important, Dylan's important. Dylan's Dylan. the one who's the most important, because he's a child. He's the, he's the protagonist's son, which makes him the most important person. So ever. really, him be, having been created is what enables this whole thing to happen? Yes. Is that what's happening yeah, Dylan here? And you didn't know that until this book. No, of course not. Right, but that was... I mean, that actually makes a little more sense than, like, arbitrarily Null is, like, for some for no reason able to be awakened now. Yeah, and all like, this just because happening. Carnage, like, collects all five, like, Dragon Balls. Right, yeah. which could have happened at any prior exactly. point. Exactly. So... You know, ultimately, I think it's it's a fun read. It, it really is not, like, 
a deep read. No, no. You know, even the father son stuff is very superficial. Yeah. But again, the main book is about the main action. But the Venom book, eh, like, you see some interplay, but it's not nearly as enhancing as one would assume. I remember talking about it when, when it was coming out and I was reviewing it. And people were like, you gotta read, you gotta read Venom. You gotta read the Venom book. And it's like, I did read the Venom book. It doesn't really add much. Like, I mean, yeah. it, you know, it's written by the same guy, so like there is more. Yeah, and, like, it, it synchronizes well. Yes, and it does because it does set up like, in this book, the maker is important. And then when the heroes arrive, the maker is not there anymore. So like, the Venom book tells you where he went. Right. And yeah. the, and it was and it was pretty rad and important. And it was important. Does he go home? No. Well, I mean, you know, inevitably or in this book. No, in in the Venom book. No. But he no. got all the symbiotes or the codexes. Yeah, but like he lost them. Remember, he had to abandon ship. At the end of it, he does re. He he's been talking to this like organization, and it turns out it's the Council of Reeds, and they're just like, we all have our own universes that we come from and and go to, but you you don't. So like. You need to get your universe back. Or we could just kill you. Right. Well, yeah. they absolutely should, but like the reeds aren't while the Council of Reeds are clearly like reference you know, the, the Council of Ricks is derived from that. Right. They're not Rick. They're Reed Richards. And they don't necessarily know that Maker is an asshole. Look at him. <laughs> I feel like this needs to be in conjunction with King and Black. Like this really it, it sets it up. And now I just want to know rest what happens. It. Yeah, and it, and it is like literally you could just read the both like at the same time and you're fine. So right. here we are with number two. Right. So here we go, another hour and a half. No, we're not gonna do that, but we will do it again. You just uh, disappointed everyone. Like, know, oh, sorry. five hour back issues. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, wait a year and then you can watch them both at the same time. Hell, you can watch Venom and then this and then King and Black all at once. Maybe I'll make like a symbiote playlist at some point. I got a lot of symbiote books that we've done on this couch. I feel like we could probably make a playlist. But anyway. It started off with the first. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't even know where we started. But let me know. We started with Venom Returns. Anyway. So there you have it. Absolute Carnage. Still a better title than Let There Be Carnage. Although yes. I will say, this could have been called Let There Be Carnage or Let There Be Null. Oh, yeah. But they wanted to yeah. do a Carnage. This is a Carnage book. It's, it's about it's Carnage. It's got to have Carnage in the name. That's right. It could be Absolute Carnage, subtitle Let There Be Null. Yes. That would have been fine. Though, Absolute you know. Carnage. The Codex Hunt. hunt oh, hunt codex, codex Hunt, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but why? Why complicate it? Why not absolute carnage like the Null Initiative? <laughs> A Null Nation. <laughs> yeah. There's a million stupid titles you can come yeah. up with. Yeah, but I promise you, none of them are as stupid as what Sony would come up with. No. So, uh, <laughs> if you want to check out Absolute Carnage, I recommend it. It's in the comments down below. Pick up a copy if you're uh, of a mind. Uh, if, and if you want to know what the hell happened with Maker while you're reading this, you should read Venom like 17 through 20. But if you don't want to do that, uh, you, Whatever. Don't, you don't have to at all. Who cares? But, uh, you know, it's fun. And it, like I said, like it's consistent in terms of writing and art. And, you know, it's it's a popcorn book. It's not yeah, yeah. It's just, it. it's just fun, just cool stuff. action and drawings and, ah, right. and I, all that stuff I you will, remember. I will, I've never felt any tension in this book mm. at any point while reading it. Right. But... Sometimes, you know, it doesn't have to be Hemingway every time. Can, right. Sometimes it could just be like, oh, it's kind of fun. It could just be like serviceably written and executed. Yes. And come out on time. As long as it say. looks rad. And it looks rad. Like as long as it looks like above grade rad. Yeah. You can get, you can get away with a lot. Yeah. And yeah, it does you look know, awesome. You know, like Hulk Venom being only on like two pages and not looking very good. Yeah. And not having really any particular special abilities. Uh, exactly. Or purpose. Right. right. I am strong. Yeah. As strong? Stronger? Yeah, but you still lost. <laughs> and you're Hulk. How did you do That's that? The worst is when they do this thing where they're like, well, you've never seen this! And then they lose, and then, like, your friendship defeats them at the end. Like, <laughs> fucking, like, what? It's just, it's just, yeah. You just, you just wanted to make an action figure. Yep. That's fine, I guess. You know, mm. your, your business, I get it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see I'm you guys next time. we him and rip him apart. Yeah. Well, we do that. That's yeah. fine. But uh, we'll see you guys next time with another episode of Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And let there be carnage. Secret carnage. Let it happen. Just let there be carnage. Just carnage let there wars. be carnage. I thought of uh, another uh, subtitle. Uh, Absolute Carnage. The Null Hypothesis. <laughs> Just an actual thing. In, Is it really? In science. Oh. Yeah. The null, N-U-L-L. -L. Oh.
Yeah. And you spell it with a K, so it's so it's own. Yeah. It's like Marvel. The That's not bad. Right. I like that. What is the null hypothesis? Yeah, what is the null hypothesis? Uh, it's that, like, it's in any experiment where you're trying to, like, prove uh, that something is caused by something else, mm. you need to understand and think about the possibility of the null hypothesis, which is, is that not. nothing, it, there is no relation mm -hmm. between these two things. Gotcha. And if you fail to consider that, you'll look for things that, like, aren't really there. Right. That's cool. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be a great writing exercise to try and, like, take these two disparate things that seemingly have nothing to do with each other and then bridge them. Mm. Or don't. Or don't. Yeah, like you think that there are all these connections and you're just like, right. you missed it the entire time. Right, like you could bridge like, cause they, X-Men like X -Men and Null, you know, like Onslaught and Null and then seemingly have nothing to do with each other and then it's like, oh, uh. and then it's like, nah. <laughs> but. You thought awesome. you did and it started, started to become a real crazy conspiracy. Yeah. But it's not. No. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Oh well. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next time. Maybe. I mean, you know. Next time, I maybe. I don't want to split what happens at the end of King and Black, but uh, you know, maybe Null's around. Maybe we <laughs> of get course, the no maybe kill Null's crew. around. <laughs> no kill crew. <laughs> yes. Oh my That's god. A Holy <laughs> shit. Me? It's like Venom and like a couple other symbiotes. They all have to team up, and it's the Null kill crew. There's a piece of Null out there in the universe. We're gonna. Yeah. They're We're gonna like, eradicate all of them. Null has codices. Like there's special yes. Null codices uh, that are out there. That's, see? Wow. All right. <laughs> you can't air that. We gotta keep that. No, I'm keeping that. So you can Fuck pitch you. it and then get credit for it.